power distribution is another thing. I can't tell you how many times I've looked at stuff where the battery terminals have like a hundred things tied to them. They're getting corroded. They have a whole bunch of stuff. Do yourself a favor, get some power distribution blocks. Now there's many, many different kinds that you can do. This is from Recoil. Now they make a lot of stuff. So this one right here has a cover on it, which in my boat, my current distribution does not have covers. And I can't tell you how many times I've dropped things onto the different posts. So having a cover is super valuable uh, to protect you from you know touching this, accidentally arcing or doing something. So what do I mean uh, when you talk about having a cover? Well, if I take this little LED light here, I'm just using it as a probe, and I touch these two things, you can see there is current. Now what's interesting about this, this is a split bus. So I have two very large gauge connectors that I can use two very small ones when I need to tap power from anything. And then I have two inner ones here that are a little bit shorter, but I can tap anything. So I ran my inverter off of these center posts and I also put my battery charger on there. Right before the show, I had the charger directly to the battery. I have no problem doing that and not even having a disconnect because it's a permanent thing because the NOCO actually comes, as you can see here, with this battery protection. So it's got a fuse here which is going to protect the battery and the noco from getting shorted so fuse wires could go directly on the battery i didn't mind that uh, even if i didn't have a, a direct shut off because i can shut it off at that or unplug it in this case i decided to put it through the distribution block because and you'll see over here because i wanted that ability to see the current going into the battery because i have battery monitoring now so when i plug the noco charger in right now i have zero zero amps going in or out there's this little symbol here on the display shows which way it's going it's also same thing repeated on the app when i plug my noco charger in now you'll see the charger over here just initialized the noco charger says i'm going to be charging lithium batteries so it switched over to lithium and it's charging and if we come over here what you'll see is that rate of charge it's at one amp now. It's just kind of feeling the battery out, seeing what's left. It'll start to increase that charge rate. The amperage is gonna increase. And so you'll see there's a little tiny red, if I do it right, there's a little red indicator showing that the battery's flowing to the battery or the power's flowing to the battery. So at two amps of battery power coming in. Distribution block, let's come back to that. So this is from Recoil, a very easy to get your power in and power out. So this is what it comes with. It has this unit. It's gonna have the cover that goes on and the outer two prongs are what makes the cover stay on. So those are a little bit longer than the rest of them. Um, the one thing I would say that was a little bit disappointing on this one is just the gauge size. So if you're using very large lugs and it has some, some rings here, um, they don't look like they're pure copper, maybe some brass or something you know going on here, uh, but they're not very big. You know, that's gonna fit maybe an eight gauge wire at best. 